stars from uh, Nicaragua. Do you think Canelo, I mean, Brent Chavier can become the next Canelo out of Nicaragua or like the Manny Pacquiao of Nicaragua? Well, I, I think he can definitely become the next Alexis Arguello from, from Nicaragua. And, um, you know, those are big shoes to fill. But um, a fighter like Randy Caballero that has the talent, that has the speed, that has power, charisma. He has a great following, uh, uh, you know, fighting, uh, fighting in Fantasy Springs Casino. I mean, he has to place every time he fights, especially now that he has a world title. So, um, you know, sky's the limit for him. I think that... Uh, in time, as he wins more world titles, as uh, as we step up the competition, um, you know we're we're, we're possibly going to see uh, the biggest uh, fighter from from can Nicaragua. I, can I ask um, fighting uh, um, in, in, in unifications, uh, fighting at the very best, headlining his own shows, whether it's on uh, HBO. Um, um, but uh, I see Randy Caballero as a fighter who is going to bring back. Uh, uh, um, uh, boxing from Nicaragua and, 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 and make everybody proud. Do you think Randy Caballero will one, one day make it to pay-per-view? Well, I mean, pay-per-view is a whole different animal in itself. Um, you know, it's a matter of, of continuing to build and uh, as long as Randy Caballero continues to fight the very best, eventually in time he can get there. Um, you know, it's it's a matter of uh, strategizing and uh, and making sure he fights the perfect opponents, the the other world champions that are in his division. But uh, yeah, pay per view is, is is a tricky business, and um, it's not impossible. But um, you know, I'm not counting out the fact that uh, that uh, that Randy Caballero can one day get there. Um, eventually, if he continues on this on this path that he's in. We heard that negotiations between Cotto and Canelo have you know disbanded and everything. I know we're hearing Kirkland is a front runner. And everything, but what are other options for Canelo for the May second fight? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Um, you know, uh, uh, I'll be sitting down with Canelo. I'll be driving down to San Diego and uh, and, and explore every option. Uh, but one thing for sure is that Canelo is going to fight May second. He's expressed it uh, for many months now, and he's not moving from that date. Um, he wants to fight on May second and uh, and uh, and give his fans the best show possible. You're a boxing fan yourself. One final question here. Here. Boxing is coming to prime time. Your thoughts on that? Oh, it's great. It's great for boxing. I love it. It's it's uh, it's a matter of uh, just putting on the right fights. Every champion that's out there right now, um, fighting uh, somewhere else for somebody else, we built. Um, that's what we do best. You know, um, Deontay Wilder, for instance, who uh, who, who who won the uh, heavyweight uh, championship of the world. We built right from the start we saw him in the olympics see that's what we do best that's what we know how to do so um you know that's exactly what we're doing at golden boy promotions is giving the opportunity once again to young champions signing them to golden boy promotions to make them family and have that long-term plan for them and create superstars that's what we know how to do best so um it's not a rebuilding of Golden Boy. It's just, uh, it's just uh, we're once again building that next generation of champions. You know, one champion you do have that's long term with you guys is Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, news broke, not a quota fight. You guys are going the Kirkland way. Um, what happened with the negotiations, and would you still be open to them should they come back? Well, it's exactly what's happened to the uh, Mayweather-Pacquiao negotiations. Look, we signed our side of the deal. Um, you know. Uh, I can't say that Cotto was afraid of Canelo. I can't say that Mayweather's afraid of Pacquiao. But, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is is that they're not going to be able or they're not going to give the fans what they deserve to be watching, you know. Canelo wants to satisfy his fans. He wants to give the fans the best of the best. But, unfortunately, Canelo has other, other plans. And uh, it's the same with Mayweather. You know, I wish those fights would take place because uh, because the fans would really enjoy them and they would come out the winners. Is the Canelo uh, boxing venue and the date, is it finalized or is that kind of relying on what Mayweather does with, with Pacquiao? No, uh, Canelo is fighting May 2nd, uh, regardless of who he fights, where he fights, um, he's fighting May 2nd, uh, that's always been the plan, uh, and Canelo's sticking with it. So, uh, you know, uh, I'll be sitting down with Canelo tomorrow, uh, be driving to San Diego, and I'll spend the whole day with him and uh, talk to his team, and we'll figure out uh, who he's fighting, uh, what location he's fighting, but uh, the date will be May 2nd.